I remember when I was literally addicted to Doritos, I would sit down and I just would be like, not even mindless, just keep eating one more, one more and down the whole bag. And that's because of the flavorings were so amazing, but they didn't last. So I had to keep having one to keep that same fix going because I was addicted. And then what about this thing called monosodium glutamate? What is that? It will make a food taste better than it really is. It must have certain textures because people don't like kind of crumbly, dry, bad texture food. It must have a good mouthfeel in order for you to keep eating it. You also must actually hit this bliss point, this perfect chemical combination between sweet, salt, and fat. Okay, they've researched this hardcore. And then they use certain chemicals to increase this dopamine, which actually has a lot to do with different parts of the brain, like pleasure. And people kind of get stuck in this trap. So that's really the interesting thing about this. It's the intention behind the food. It's all engineered to get you hooked, okay? Now let's go through the ingredients. Number one, trans fats. They are trying to ban trans fats. They're still in our foods in less quantity. They're very bad but they're even worse if you combine refined carbohydrates. Talk about really destroying the liver. If you combine these two together, your liver is gonna be in really bad shape. People never just consume one ingredient. It's always a combination. And even the CDC says that one in three people consume junk food on a daily basis. And most people consume junk food once a week. I mean. That's crazy. And so we have a really big problem. We have a big health problem. 